guys it's me Elise and I hope you guys are all doing well I'm back with a new video so I have a new wig from Tanashi hair if you guys check the info section below I will have all the details as well as the discount code located there so you guys go ahead and check that out now the wig that I have is their deep wave 13 by 4 inch high definition lace front wig the wig that I have is 28 inches long and 200% density. So before we do anything with this wig, I'm just going to show you guys what this wig looks like directly out of the box. Because I know a lot of you guys like to comment and say that, of course, my wig didn't look like yours. I'm, did your wig look like this? <laughs> but if not, then we have a whole nother conversation. Um, but this is what the wig looks like on. I do realize that I have to tint the lace and tweeze the hairline wash the hair so on and so forth so let's go ahead and get started so first and foremost I'm going to go in and tint the lace and I'm doing that right now yeah I've seen this process done plenty of times before but if you guys are new here I will be sure to link a video in the cards above in case you guys want a more detailed video on how I tint my lace um, I also bleached the knots off camera because you guys seen that plenty of times before. But right now we're going to go in and customize the unit. As usual, I'm just going to separate the baby hairs from the rest of the hair. Brush everything back with a little bit of water and then tweeze behind the hairline just to kind of thin that out a bit. Because I do notice that the hairline looks a bit boxy. So I kind of want it to look a little more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you guys are going to see me just spray the hair down with some water. I'm going to um, also pull out some baby hairs in the front because I have a plan that I want to do in this video. Especially for those of you guys who may be lacking the existence of edges. <laughs> so I actually wanted to just, you know kind of make the edges look a little fancy or whatnot so I'm going to go ahead and do that with my pencil flat iron and once I'm finished we'll move on to the next step hey guys it's me again <laughs> but yeah so here's the wig this is the next day it's completely dry it's ready to go you guys can see the curls are popping so yeah let's go ahead and get started here's my hair you guys just love to see them even if my braids are frizzy or whatnot but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get my stocking cap on we're gonna put the wig on and you guys look at that not me with a whole corn roll sticking up out of my wig <laughs> but yeah you guys are gonna see it disappear boom it's gone <laughs> um, but yeah so right now I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the lace like I usually do and then you guys are gonna see me pull out my got to be glue and I'm gonna glue the wig down and then um, perhaps I'm going to fix the baby here as you guys all know the routine I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys once I'm finished Okay, so here is the first look. It's giving effortless. You got your wispies out in the front, but the back is still super defined and flowy. Um, so yeah, now I do actually want to put this hair in a ponytail, but I'm going to give you guys just the look if you were to just wear the wig as is. You can definitely get away with so many different looks with this hair, especially due to the length. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this in a ponytail. So first and foremost, I'm going to just spray down the top with some water because I want it to look as flat as possible, like it could be my own hair. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of gel. However, you really don't don't need to do this because the hair just laid on its own I'm gonna also pull out the back wispies because you know 
when you have your front wispies out you got to pull out the back wispies too you got to make this look super natural um and then i'm going to pull the hair in a ponytail and then of course you're going to grab just a small bit of the hair and just wrap it around um your hair tie just to make it look seamless and classy um, add a little extra water just to redefine the curls and there you go just an effortless ponytail but then you guys I saw Normani and I love Normani so much and she had her hair in a braid with the wispies out in the front so she actually inspired this next look so I'm gonna call this the Normani look okay <laughs> um, but yeah I'm actually really liking this ponytail look so again, you guys do check out Tanashi Hair. I will leave all the information below. Use discount code Elise to save 10% off of your purchases. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye guys.